Welcome to the post Sydney Jamboree Beach Talk. Raw and uncut, Jordo. Now I found this on some crap radio channel and they basically had a picture of like a Ram, Dodge Ram pickup or what we call a ute but the big, big yank version. Should big yank utes be allowed on Aussie roads? Give it a hell yeah. yeah. Now a lot of people will say those Rams, who would buy them, yada yada. They actually sell heaps of them. I love that. Who would buy them? Who, who would buy them? People assume no one, no one's buying them because they hate them. In actual fact, there's actually a big market for them. And you were saying it's the same people who complain about trucks, Jordy. And you think how does how do you think everything gets to the shops? But you were saying Ram actually can barely keep up the demand here, can they? They're running 24/7 on converting them. And I think last year, I know last year, I think there was something like 41 or 4200 rams sold and you know teslas are admittedly are becoming a lot more popular and i think they sold maybe about 4300 similar amount and yeah these are cars that have obviously all got to be converted as well and just uh as we're recording this the new ram is now available i've actually driven one of the new ones they're not that much different they look a bit more modern but but hang on, hang on. You're, you're, you're in the minority. No. The drivers are feral and aggressive. Sharing roads with them is a nightmare. They all look the same. Such a... I don't even get that comment. Hey, they can't be, they can't be any more as aggressive as a Ford Ranger driver. They all look the same. Oversized, ugly and boring. Bring back real cars. I wonder what a real car is, a Prius? If you want to drive a heavy, thirsty rail chassis with leaf springs, beam axles and drum brake brakes from the 1940s, stay in the left lane FFS. Mm -hmm. Heavy vehicles pay in excess to use the roads due to the damage they cause. Bet a Ram owner wouldn't. Well, why should a Ram owner pay excess tolls on the roads if he doesn't have to? It's under four and a half tons. What are they talking about? It's probably not that much uh, lighter than half these bloody barge SUVs and nearly as heavy as the current model Subaru WRX. No, it must be horrifying for people who drive small hatchbacks to share our roads and car parks with these monster trucks. Monster trucks. No, they are death traps and are used by the meatheads who drive them to bully and intimidate other road users. Death traps by meatheads. So what have you got to say for that? Who's when are we buying one? Well, you're a meathead. They're a bit out of my price range, but I think the new one, the top of the line, the top of the line one's about 140. But you look at that and you go, look, man, they're not they're not cheap, and and they're still selling extremely well. People want V8 Utes, don't they? Hey, you know, I think there's a few getting around, and I've I haven't driven one, but I've sat in one that current model sort of Toyota Tundra. That's a nice car, a uh, nice ute. I don't know if I've ever seen one on the road here. Yeah, yeah, I reckon they look all right. They've got a Japanese feel to them, but they've obviously been made for the American market, but yeah, I don't mind them. If you haven't figured, we're driving the almighty Yaris GR what a machine this is for highway driving. Road noise, it's revving. <laughs> I think it's lacking a little bit of uh, sand insulation. Oh yeah. It's pretty noisy for a new car. What happened, Mr. Drifter? What happened? Now, Luke. You filmed the video with Dandy Engines and Harrop recently on the new Ford Pushrod V8. Is it a 7.3 litre, is that right? Codenamed Godzilla, this engine is. This has nearly as much of a bigger salt pile as the RX-8 video. Godzilla was a term coined by the R32 GDR by the Australian motoring journalist years ago because of the dominance at Bathurst, and I assumed other racing series. 
please don't encourage some truck V8 engine's reputation based on the Godzilla term. You couldn't get two further away examples of the same word. No disrespect to the huge engine, but get an original nickname for it. Rant over, pay respect where it's due. I love all cars, buddy. What the hell? They're getting this cut up over a nickname. Don't, don't you love that last comment? I love all cars. Um, but you just had a rant, sooking, just... sooking about a, 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 a nickname for an engine. And by the way, said engine, Godzilla engine, just made, what, over a thousand horsepower unopened. And that's with a truck cam. The thing idles at like 620 RPM. Totally unopened. None of this US style. Oh, it's a stock engine, but we've changed the ring gaps. That's not unopened. Unopened as in, that's how it came out of the crate. It's still got the factory spark plugs in it, everything. Didn't even change the oil. F that yank tank heavy piece of shit. Unless you want to tow a house around, you can't park it anywhere in Australian car parks and they're too wide for our roads. Too wide. This is what's odd. This was commented on the video about the engine. Had nothing to do with the truck. Ford truck. This is how stupid it is. The point of it is these guys will be getting these engines like crate motors and it's an option to put in your old Ford or any kind of car. It's a conversion kit. Pretty cool conversion kit at that. An engine, a supercharger. You just need a fuel system, obviously, bang it in. It's it, not... It's, you know what's some cool stuff about that engine? It's got like a variable oil pump. It's got a chain that runs into the sump. It looks, it looks interesting. So like at idle, it's got, say, 20 PSI oil pressure. As soon as you put some load on it, it's got 100 PSI. And it's also got a variable cam gear on a cam in block engine. That's irrelevant. It's just got some cool new tech. That is irrelevant because the GDR fanboys are not happy. Godzilla! You say Godzilla in the motorsport enthusiast environment and everyone would refer to an R32 GTR. Maybe in your world of imports, buddy, but a lot of older guys who are into this stuff were never into a Skyline and probably don't even know that. It's not copyrighted or anything, but why would they call another car motor Godzilla? Plenty of more original names out there. There have been other cars called a GTR before. Exactly. The Nissan, I mean, that's been used a lot, that term. RB26 is a Godzilla 2.6 litre engine that properly produces more power than the 7.3 litre engine here. Ford are wankers. How's it producing more power? Don't bring facts into this. Anyway, you know how this That's works. not a Godzilla at all. People are just bleeding over this name. Godzilla refers to the car, it doesn't refer to the engine. And then plus, you know what, one way to fix this debate, why not just put the Ford 7.3 in the Nissan GTR? Then you've got a Godzilla in a Godzilla. You know that engine with the blower on it, Jordi? It's making nearly a thousand foot-pounds of torque at like 3,600 RPM. That's ridiculous. That's just like, just smoke machine, like in every gear, isn't it? Pretty good comment this one. Should just call this engine FedEx because it looks like it's going to deliver the goods in the comments every time it's posted in the future. That's not bad. I'll let you in on a little secret. Now that Godzilla video, I, I filmed and edited at that. And at no point did I even cross my mind the whole Godzilla name thing. Because the God, this, it's amazing how many people I've spoken to in the automotive performance industry that have never heard of this engine. This new V8? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, oh, heaps of people. It's because it's not from, like, it's not the latest engine in a Mustang or something. And GM kind of have a new version as well called the L8T. It's a smaller engine. It's a 6.6 .6 cast iron truck engine. But, yeah, it just shows the old V8s aren't dead yet. And you can buy these as a crate engine. Even in standard trim, like, obviously, naturally aspirated, it's still made, like, nine... Uh, sorry, 550 horsepower. It's like, that's 400 kilowatts. Pretty awesome. Now, this was a story about the speed cameras, your favourite subject. Mobile speed and phone detection cameras are being destroyed by angry drivers. Material obtained by Nine News under the Freedom of Information laws. News. Is that our ping pong, Mr. Ping Pong says it? Ping Pong Productions? That is a childish... So people are going around vandalising the cameras, smashing them up some roads minister, police minister, that is a, just a childish, childish act. Do you really blame people, really? Like I, I can understand the anger, but they need to understand every, every dollar, every dollar goes back into road safety. <coughs> is that true, is it? I didn't know that, Jordan. So, hang on. 
Every yeah. every dollar goes back into road safety. No, does, does that mean more dollars are making more speed cameras? Because speed cameras equals road safety. Is that right? So every dollar is going back into create more cameras. <laughs> they have been egged, abused, had bottles and food thrown at them, intimidated by drivers. The other week there was a I saw there was a job application online going for a speed camera operator. Yeah, wouldn't it be a bit boring sitting in the car all day? Just be looking at uh, TikTok. Speaking of TikTok, I've had about a million people tell us when is full boost getting on TikTok? The answer is never. And you can take that to the bank. Now, Luke, some tragic news in the world of full boost is Mr. 2K Barra unfortunately has passed away. All this time we've been um, taking the PI double five. I don't even know this guy's name, but he, isn't he known as the Spanish Laughing Man? He, he was uh, known as El. What does it say? Risitus. Also, in English, it means he's known as the Giggles. The Giggles. <laughs> so he was. Uh, he's been. His clip of him laughing's been around forever, and we kind of added it to a 2K Barra meme, and it just went a bit, a bit silly. V people have asked us, does that mean we're not going to? play him in any more videos, hell no, he's going to continue to have a role in Full Boost and why would you not play him? It's hilarious. I crack up laughing every time I just edit him into a video. I think I've only ever watched the uh, tr a translated version of the full video. I think I've only ever seen it once. It's actually about him, wasn't he? He had plates in the ocean. Washing plates in the ocean and, he, and, all, the, and all the plates disappeared out to the sea and the restaurant had no plates for dinner. Well, I think that's what the story was about. Guess what, Luke? Rally art. Yes, the, the performance arm of Mitsubishi, they are back. So, what EVA have they got in the making now? It's a 7 kilowatt version or the 5 kilowatt version. I'm talking about air conditioners here. Rally art nameplate performance focused Triton, likely his first model. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Well, that's not even a conversation worth having. A Rally art Triton? Yeah, a new sticker pack. Sticker packs for everyone. Have you, have you seen how, speaking of Mitsubishi, have you seen how they're pulling out of Europe? But hang on, people aren't happy. So they are bringing it back on one of their least sportiest models, right? What's next? A, a Mitsubishi Rally Art Express van? Behold the Mitsubishi Fuso Cantor GTO Evolution Rally Art Edition. Pretty, pretty much. Everybody is being given a special sticker pack. Just a shout out here, JE. Hello from Rotorua, New Zealand. Can I please get a shout out in your next bench talk? Love your channel, boys. Thanks, mate. Thanks, champ. Thanks, bro. What are you doing, bro? Dude, I'm beached is. <laughs> <laughs>